guys, it's Jessie from Acrylic Cards here with a short tutorial on how to do gradient brush lettering with a water brush and liquid watercolors. This is something that you could do with liquid watercolor products or liquid watercolor that you make from pan watercolors. Here are the materials that I'll be using today. I'll be using Dr. P.H. Martin's Radiant Concentrated Watercolors in Moss, Rose, and Violet, the small sized Aquash water brush from Pentel. A pipette for pipetting the water. I got mine from Daiso for super cheap and they come in a small package like this. A small watercolor dish. I also got this from Daiso and for the first time it's actually stained. I clean my water pans on a regular basis and it's never had this issue with staining before. However, when I used the Derwent Inktense pencils in here for a card project, that left a stain. So that's kind of strange and I guess if you're using Derwent watercolor pencils in this pan, you've been forewarned. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to drop some of the lighter color into the pen. Because this watercolor is so concentrated, I did add a little bit of water to this. And I keep this small water bottle at my desk because I work with watercolors a lot and I don't want to keep traveling between my office and the bathroom or the kitchen. So this is a good solution for that. After you're done with that, screw the tip back on the brush. So now I'm going to take this darker color and place a couple drops into the pan. And I'm ready to get started, except I need to test the brush. It's always a good idea to have an extra scrap piece of paper for a test run. I actually didn't close the tip all the way, big mistake. So you can see my fingers are a little pink. Now let's test the watercolors with the purple ink to see what it would look like. Seems like it's pretty good gradient wise. So I started to write my quote, but I didn't really like how I was writing my T's. For some reason these days, my T's have been having an identity crisis and I never know how to cross them. So it's been really inconsistent. So some days it's straight and some days it's squiggly. Um, it's just always kind of awkward. And you can kind of see that in my last video as an example of how my T's are all over the place. I'm just going to write out my quote and you can see the gradient just occurs really naturally when you use this method.
hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below of what you'd like to see next. To see more blogs and videos like this one, check out my website at www.ingorella.com. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Ingorella Cards. Thanks for watching.